Morning all. Uh, we have an Itzel game organized by the Itzel Hunter. I'm playing Glenn. Uh, I'm USA plus two. He's USSR. Let's get going. Okay, so no four op cards, which is a shame, but we've got D Star. We're probably not you and interventioning anything since you may get blockaded anyway. And we've got no reason to go other than four four two. In terms of headline, it's CIA or five year plan. Not not eventing NORAD for sure. There's part of me that likes five year plan, just speculative pull out the hand. So the upshot of CIA is we save a three op card to use. We can also deny this Liku if they headline socialist governments. Let's let's grant ourselves the gift of total information at the expense of a DEFCON suicide card. And it turned out pretty good. They may jam West Germany, knowing they now can't coup Italy. Oh, okay. Let's see what else they have. Socialist governments. No scoring cards. Truman. Well, that's handy to know because it means we don't have to jam France as earnestly. Purge. De Gaulle is annoying. Fidel and Vietnam. Oh, double, double trouble on France. That's very annoying. But we will at least deny a, two, a coup on a two-stab Italy. Let's see if we can roll a six. That'd be fun. No, almost. So lots to do. We need to move into Malaysia before Vietnam revolts. We want to cover West Germany before it gets jammed up. And we know they're likely to do a bit of hassle in France. Let's see. Goes to the coup in Iran first. That's fairly standard. We'll counter coup. Oh, be good. Three or higher, please. Because with Suez, there was a chance we were going to get swept there. Decol next, potentially. Angola plus Thailand. Hmm. Okay. So knowing they have, we're going to use five-year plan, move into Lebanon, cover Germany, move into Malaysia. Covers all our bases. Yep. Nicely done. So I think, knowing they've got De Gaulle, I'm fine eventing, forcing them to event it and repairing it. Yeah. I'm not happy about that, and I'm not happy about giving up Thailand either, but at least we still have a pip in Iran.
We could space Korean War. Nah, we're not going to be able to hold the Indo-Pakistani War, unfortunately. That's the frustrating thing. I suppose one option is two into Pakistan with Indo-Pakistani War. Gamble on Korean War, <laughs> which is dangerous at 50-50. Uh, we saw it go badly for our opponent recently, so maybe not a good idea. And we want to overload France, obviously. Quite a lot we need to do. But I'm comfortable UN intervention D style to recover France. Plus we know they're holding Truman. They may just use Truman to take Thailand. In which case we'll use Indo-Pakistani war to take Pakistan. And if they use De Gaulle for ops, we can always take India afterwards. Let's see. Using the China card. Take Pakistan as well. Savvy. So I think here we take the one in three gamble on Indo-Pakistani war, don't we? So we'll start by spacing Korean war. Nice. Vietnam, Fidel, De Gaulle, Truman. The likeliest is maybe a Truman pip in Korea, something like that. Nothing spectacular. The issue is we're already dominated in Asia, so eventing into Pakistani war is trading a one in three shot of two VP for not a lot, but... Okay, those are to be expected. I think we'll still do it. Uh, we're not rewarded. I don't think that's necessarily a surprise. We'll see what they do AR6, but I think we're UN intervention covering France, knowing they've still got de Gaulle in hand. And we just need to make absolutely sure we don't get caught with Cambridge 5 Europe in hand so that they can tap Italy. Fidel 2 into Egypt? Oh, just a straight event. Okay, with CIA gone, that's not bad. And we will you an intervention D-style, which is annoying, but we need to make sure France is safe against de Gaulle. So we didn't get any of the key cards. Uh, it looks like we're holding blockade. So options are duck and cover 3vp no coup probably the best bet capture nazi we're on an odd square we're probably just going to vent it anyway if we trigger romanian abdication we then want to follow up with independent reds so that truman doctrine becomes untenable for them let's duck and cover that should be expected. Expect to see Egypt next. If it takes Greece, that telegraphs 
Europe scoring. Egypt seems like the place to go now. Mm -hmm. Um. Using a four up card to tap Syria and just put two in Iraq seems really boring. So let's go through to Libya, tap Egypt, two in Greece. Yeah, fine. Not great, but fine. We're looking for a NATO so we can use special relationship to maximum advantage. And we're also looking to dodge war cards. Arab-Israeli war last in the early war deck. They had Cambridge 5. Shame they didn't use it really. Uh, all right, with NASA, that's problematic. What we'll do here is we'll pop one in Turkey. Uh, and if we do that, they can just insta play. Uh, they're probably going to do it anyway. If we event independent reds, it's cost neutral. What we're hoping for is a misstep here in not using Truman Doctrine right now. And if they don't, we event independent reds. But I expect here to see Truman Doctrine 1 into Egypt. Easy peasy. Okay. Fine, fine. Okay, so now we definitely event independent reds and leave him stuck in Romania. Little slow, but workable. And with no NATO, I think we probably use Olympic Games as a special relationship to take Iraq or move into Saudi. Oh, boo. Got his mill ops. Didn't get a result, though. So now maybe we jam on Israel. Yeah. NASA. Okay, so we'll take... Israel. Oh, yes, we were supposed to overprotect Italy. <laughs> Whoops. Let's see if we get containment. We do. So we will reluctantly use captured Nazi to shore up Italy. And hold the China card. Dull and Dismal. Uh, they got all the four up cards, US, Japan, and Marshall. Of course, neither of them are uh, enjoyably play playable. I've got D-Style back, lucky us. 
and they got EEU. So they're holding US, Japan, Marshall, Middle East, East European, and Truman Doctrine. We got D star back, we can blockade away. And we got defectors. And they don't know we've got defectors, so Middle East scoring could get headlined. We end up Pakistani War 2. Great redeal. Okay, I think we defect, right? Yeah. Let's get Middle East scoring. Ah, boo. At least Europe scoring is safe. Cool on Panama coming up. Okay, so we remove all access to Italy and start to mess with Poland. No, nah. actually, take one out of Romania so they can't take Romania with it either. So now no adjacency to Italy and Romania is under threat. Coup on Panama. Not the most successful one. Okay, so our options here are we can use the China card to flip Pakistan, then move into Italy, India. And if they move into India, we've got a 50-50 on it, holding Indo-Pakistani war. I kind of like that. Because if they drop Middle East scoring, we take India. And we know they've got US-Japan. And we've got Formosa. So we could actually start to redress some balance in Asia. As annoying as it is giving up the China card, I kind of like putting him under pressure here. Using US-Japan to finish taking Korea, for example, or US-Japan to take India. take India and give us a clean shot. We've got to have it now before they take Burma. Big money, no whammies. Success. Okay, so now, knowing they hold US-Japan, we are virtually certain, one way or the other, to be alright in Asia. Which is a significant improvement to us. They're going to drop Middle East scoring, but we're going to drop Europe scoring. You can blockade away D style. Let's hope they don't get salt. And we go into mid war. Better than average. Sadly, they're well developed in Africa, but of course, we've kept them out of South America, which is good. And we're now both out of Panama, which has its own problems. Oh. Okay, totally given up on Europe. That's always good. Right, France is well protected. Greece is fine. We'll put one in Austria as well. So, if we take Japan, we effectively resign ourselves to saying, but we could level up Asia. Take Taiwan and event Formosa. Although that leaves Pakistan uncovered for a bit longer. So, 
the issue with just taking Japan is that we effectively say, all right, um, give me a free card. So let's take non-battlegrounds. We've still got Comic-Con. We've still got Blockade D style to cover Pakistan. Still got Europe scoring to drop, but we should be all right there. Yeah, that's fine. At some point, they have to drop Middle East scoring, which gives us a tempo. Play. And if they do play US Japan rather than space it, we're in good shape. If they space it, I think we use Comic-Con just to take Japan, knowing we've got Formosa in our back pocket. So I think if they go Middle East scoring... We go Europe scoring. If they space US Japan, we take Japan, blockade onto Pakistan at the end of the turn, and hold Formosa resolution in the hopes we might be able to swing domination there. Possibly a foolish hope, but a reasonable one. Reasonably foolish. Uh, uh oh. Only a six. Oh, he got it. Huge. Okay, we can at least tap somewhere to deny control. That is a huge six. Ah, he's got to use US Japan to take Saudi for control. So that does play in our favour. What a profound kick in the teeth. <laughs> Mine got. Didn't see that coming. Okay, he's going for it. This is good for us. Yep, so we will tap Libya. Oh, not not twice, not twice, not twice. Thank you. Tap Libya, overprotect Pakistan. Oh, that's a big score. And we'll blockade away D-style into Taiwan and get ready for Formosa resolution, because we could... Could swing the maths there. Oh, that Arab Israeli war is huge. Not Romania. Fine. Okay, well done. And we'll blockade away D style. Ooh, Taiwan is a big signal, but then Libya is the obvious coup target. No, we'll do Taiwan because they then have to put four ops into it. Oh, Voice of America is nice for us. And Bear Trap. And we're holding Quagmire. Nice. Uh, and Mid-War. Bear Trap. Voice of America. Alliance. I saw Decol. We've done very well at hoarding those strong cards. Brezhnev Sokgov. So... Um, I like Bear Trap, because then we get a coup off as well. And we know we've got um, Voice America in our back pocket as well to clean out Angola and Zaire. If they play Asia scoring as well. Mwah! Well, if they play Asia scoring in the headline, not moi. Central America scoring, okay. Well, that's some points for them.
Oh, and they fail. That's good for us, because that will allow us to definitely clear out. Now we can coup on Algeria. And follow it up with Voice of America. Oh boy, you hate to see it. That's fine. There we go. No. That's fine. We've now got a fistful of red cards mined, so we may have created a problem for ourselves. An ABM treaty here is a blowout. But we'll space decol and hold quagmire. Event and repair socialist governments, although of course repairers, we may use the ops elsewhere. So... We'll event foremost and allow them into Algeria. Let's see whether or not they use the China card to hammer somewhere in Asia. Or if they move into Algeria. China card into India or Japan is possible. Or flipping Afghanistan, but that's a waste of the China card. The upshot to this is A, we gain the China card, and B, Nixon and Yasuri are still in the deck. So there's still lots of other ways we can wreak havoc in Asia. If they do jam the China card, we'll use socialist governments to try and repair most of the damage. Space decoil, Brezhnev AR7, hold Korkmaier. That's the plan for the turn. Still waiting to see who gets the, the significant power cards. Brush into ABM... Still in the deck. Yeah, going for it. India. Mm -hmm. That's to be expected. Not that one yet, please. Two out of West Germany might work. But he's still holding Truman. So we'll jam India, leaving West Germany open, knowing he's got Truman. And if he wants to put four in West Germany, he's treading a fine line. All right, so we'll retake India and see whether he spaces Truman now. If he missile envies us, no, okay. South America's going for zero, so he doesn't even gain from 
Brezhnev, which is nice. Alas, NASA. ABM missile. Hoof. Nice. Hmm. Headline though. Tricky. Probably just capture Nazi, which is a bit boring. I mean, Missile Envy is a DEFCON suicide risk with We All Bury You plus Juck and Cover. So the play's either ABM or Captured Nazi. Captured Nazi is probably best because then we can use ABM to counteract whatever they do in their headline turn one. So let's go Captured Nazi. Little dull and dismal on the off square, but viable. With South America gone, Hunter doesn't drop DEFCOM. So it's how I learned or something like that. But of course, holding ABM does give us a, a boost here. Korean War, just for Milops, I guess. Uh, that time it failed. So I expect to see coup on Angola, which we can then ABM, hopefully ABM counteract. Oh, mm, sassy. Okay. I mean, that's good for us because they don't know we've got. So we will retake West Germany, move into Zaire. Cover Italy well against Brush War, I guess. Yeah. We do, we certainly want to make Italy as impenetrable as possible. And we've already seen sixes get rolled. So, Miss LMV could have been problematic for us there. Uh, now it's not. Now we can Miss LMV them fairly handily. And we might get We Will Bury You, Muslim Rev, Nuclear Test Ban. That's tricky. Yeah, both sides happens, doesn't it? Yeah. Africa scoring drops before it gets any worse for them. This is good news for us. So we will space liberation theology. Great. We'll space quagmire in the hopes of getting to headline peaking. CRG. They're away. Um, what do we think? There's an opportunity to missile envy them. Uh, yeah, nuclear test ban, brush war, I guess, is problematic. So maybe we want an ABM treaty before we brush war them. So if arms race goes off to missile envy. What are we happy to pull? We're happy to pull the Asuri. Ask Not gets rid of Lone Gunman. Five-year plan pulls a card from their own hand. Shuttle Dip makes us even stronger. Nuclear Test Ban is kind of crummy, but we'll keep be able to counter coup wherever they end up cooing. Brush War Arms Race. We will bury a Muslim Rev, Che, Cult Rev, yeah. So I think we're probably going to hit them with a Missile Envy. Try and limit their options. 
late in the turn. But we're looking for a sympathetic score of Asia and Sadat to come and rescue us in the Middle East more than anything. The Middle East is a disaster. It's a good thing we didn't get swept out of there. But with the Americas un uh, scored, it's now just a case of seeing who gets to consolidate their position before the next time it comes round. And the answer is them. Good work waiting on Hunter. So now we'll missile envy them. Just to kind of hinder whatever they want to do next. If we get a high op card, we might try some speculative rear lines. If we get Muslim Rev, we will bury you Che. Yeah, Mr. Lamb is not discarded. It's in their hand now. Yep. Well, if we get something low like nuclear subs, that plays into us a little. It's just we no longer have the ops firepower for that, really. But arms race is nice here. Brush war is great, despite the flower power. Ooh. Perching them for the rest of the turn. Quite funny. Yeah. Okay. Not sure we're going to get a lot of benefit from this. Space Corkmire. My headline peaking. So they've got three cards, one of which is Truman Doctrine, and they're under Purge. Oh, Asia's one of them. Very nice. We'll play Nixon for the VP. Ooh, that's a juicy OPEC. And Olympic Games, we will tap Libya. Muslim Rev is a problem. Yep. Not happy with that. Don't have a lot of other options. We got Muslim Rev, though. Omit. Sadat and Kitchen. Sadat's nice. Muslim Rev goes to space. South Africa unrest. Salt. Boas. And... We will bury you. Well, let's see if they put themselves in a DEFCON pickle. I don't think they can, mind. Summit, I suppose. What's the likely headline? Cultural revolution. Portuguese empire crumbles. Allende. Brush war. One small step. On top of things, just about. Yeah, we kind of want to space Muslim Rev and we will bury you. So it's a case of trying to get off to space ASAP. If they do one small step, that leaves us in a bind. How I learned. That's an interesting one. Will they drop DEFCON to two? In which case we can OAS to Argentina at least. So maybe Sadat's the headline? I like to sit out here because if they keep DEFCON at 3 and coup it, we can take Libya. So it leaves them a choice here, right? Do I drop DEFCON to 2 and give them Egypt? Or do I keep it at 3 
and have a crack at Egypt, which allows us to counter crack on Libya. Is UN intervention in the... No, it's not. Just think, we could sort UNI in order to then play Muslim Revolution if it were in the pile. Well, all lone gunmen, which gets it out of our hand. Although, of course, if we sort, we can lone gunmen anyway. So, Do we want to use a MIT? Che, Culture Revolution, Portuguese Empire, Vietnam, NASA, Suez, Allende. Hmm. Allende's annoying. But Amit's not hyper useful here. But we also don't want to use the China card, right? And drops Defcon to two. One into Uruguay. Oh no, I protect. He's got Southeast Asia scoring. Okay, so we OAS into Argentina and Panama. Get some access again. So Southeast Asia scoring is worth 4 VP, that's all right. Successful double space, of course, means we can ditch Lone Gunman, which would be huge. So if they move to Uruguay, we finish taking Argentina. If they move to Colombia, we finish taking Panama. In the end, they're doing neither. Well, they're doing one, not the other. So we take Romania and gain another VP. That's nice. So Truman is out the hand. So I think now we will use Amit to take Argentina and cover Angola against Portuguese Empire, or if we have to use South African unrest. I, given that there's not a ton of cards I want to see removed, I think I prefer to put Amit back in the deck. So if they end up using it in late war, we can strip out a load of nasty cards. So if they tap Argentina, we use Salt to defend it. But we'll run into a pickle eventually. Just have to hope they're not holding our end day. If they drop Southeast Asia scoring, we'll space Muslim Rev. Although that will force us to use. Ah, oh, arms race for influence. Nice. Going for it. So we use salt, cover Argentina, take Chile. Or at least move into Chile. They then need a four op card. Uh, I mean, they're pushing for the eight to ten VP there, aren't they? Rather than cashing in three VP now. So that's their kind of. That's how they're thinking about committing. I mean, we could use Muslim Revolution unpleasantly. If we move into Sudan, uh, Sudan, they could remove us from Libya and Egypt, but we have access back via Sudan, which they can coup, so it's not great. I think we'd rather avoid that eventuality entirely, frankly. But the alternative is using the China card or using South African unrest, both of which are a bit bleh. Although, of course, to some extent, we're compelled to use South African unrest by virtue of the space restrictions now. 
Well, in the end, they go off to space first. Miss. Good. So we'll space, we will bury you first. And it fails. So we don't get to discard Lone Gunman this turn, but if we can space Muslim Rev successfully, then we can try spacing again the turn after to ditch Lone Gunman. And obviously, um, Ars Not still isn't in the offing. NASA, ooh, came back to haunt us. Okay, so here we will move into Sudan. We'll finish taking Chile and we'll overprotect. Uh, do we want to do that? I think for now we'll just move kitchen debates on Egypt. Ooh, yeah, that's not good. But using Muslim Revolution is even dicier. I'd rather space it and get the VP. So space Muslim Rev, event and repair South African unrest. Really hope they don't get Allende or flip Argentina. But we'll see what their remaining cards are. Oh, uh, well, Che doesn't get to do... Coos does take Egypt. Okay. We'll still space Muslim Rev. And fail. Oh dear. That ended up not going well for us. And then AR7, we have to repair South Africa unrest. If they take Chile and Uruguay, we've still got time to take Paraguay to level up realigns which kind of forces them to coup Argentina instead. Could come back to haunt me. As might those two failed spaces. And certainly the one in six flip of Israel has cost me dearly. So, nuclear subs. Hmm. I think we just have to event South African unrest first and see where he puts the influence. One in South Africa and two in Botswana would be the sensible option. That said, if he does that and doesn't threaten Angola, we can coup Venezuela and get our mill ops that way. But if he puts two in Angola, we'll coup Angola and we'll see if we can ride the storm in South America. Yeah. No, we'll coup Venezuela here. Come on, big six. Be greedy. <laughs> A two. That'll teach me. Okay, we got you an intervention and ask not, which is good for us. And grain sales, which is great for us. And then a lot of one op cards, which we may well disperse. I think we're likely to grain sales here first and foremost, aren't we? And then we've always got us not to toss away these trashy cards. But alas, there's one in the draw pile. That's bad for us because that means Lone Gunman will get reshuffled back in. So we probably don't use us not this turn. Or don't use us, not right. We you an intervention, loan gunman away, and then embrace Allende and the one op cards. At least Panama can now returns, takes Panama and threatens Venezuela. And we know that they've got all but one of the remaining cards. Yusuri, five year plan, shuttle diplomacy, John Paul, nuclear test ban, brush war, lads, Southeast Asia, cult rev, Portuguese empire. He doesn't hold one of those cards. 
and is headlining culture revolution. So we'll headline grain sales. <laughs> well, I think you can play that when you're ready to, Sunshine. So we'll coup on Angola. Knowing we've got time to deal with Paraguay. Yeah. Yeah. And that's also enough to ensure that um, Portuguese Empire crumbles doesn't flip it. So moving to Paraguay is key. I guess the issue now is if we UN intervention loan gun when we have to use us not anyway for ops, which means we can't hold it. So maybe we just ask not away all of our low op cards. I mean, we'll hold you an intervention in case we get a nasty card. Event Panama can now return. I kind of like that. Three op. It's a three op card effectively, which causes trouble in Venezuela. Move into Paraguay and then ditch everything else, forcing a reshuffle. Nuclear test ban. Very smart. Okay, well, Event Panama can now return to force them to do something about Venezuela first. They might speculatively realign, of course, because they still have a decent footprint in Venezuela for realigning. But they start in Argentina at plus two. Well, they're both plus two, aren't they? Well, if they succeed, it becomes an ask not job, I guess. Ooh, South America's not well. Okay. We will take, will we take a speculative coup on Paraguay? Needs to be a six. Oh dear. Now I think we ask not everything away. Including one small step. And let's see if we can get rewarded. And we'll find out what that last card in the deck was. It wasn't Brush War. It was Portuguese Empire. That's a shame for us. And we got arms race, CRG, nice. Puppet, not bad. And Europe scoring, great. So arms race plus Europe scoring. Probably UN Intervention Portuguese Empire. Well, he's got access via South Africa, actually. So we probably hold UNI. Uh, colonial rear guards prior to Southeast Asia scoring, because we can tap Lao, Vietnam, Indonesia, Burma, in fact. We could just, yeah, run through them. Puppet governments into Peru to set up our own threatened rear line of Chile. Okay, he's going for it. Please miss. Oh. Oh. Ouch. He's played lads, hasn't he? Yeah, he's played lads. Uh, played. It's in the deck because he played lads before us, not. Let's just get that right. Discard zero, remove 27. Yeah, fine. Okay, so what are our options? Let's colonial rear guards before anything. Giving him a choice of things to do. I uh, probably should have played Nigeria with it, but I'm being greedy. And we'll go... Oh, we've got puppet governments for that, so that's fine. Arms race, Europe, puppet, event and repair, Portuguese empire crumbles is the rest of the turn. And basically pray to hold on in Argentina. You can't do both things. You can't score well in Southeast Asia and continue to... 
That's fine. We get the China card back. So puppet governments into Peru, Nigeria. What do we think? Haiti? Threaten our own realign? The problem is if he... Well, I suppose... If we can't use arms race for the VP, at least it's threatening. So we know he's got Usuri, Brush, Five Year Plan, Shuttle Dip, Southeast Asia scoring. He should probably just bite the bullet and brush now. If he does, arms race becomes moot and we use it for realigns instead. Oh, no, good. Okay, so. I think we want to event arms race and take the VP and try and ride the storm in South Africa. Of course, Shuttle Dip denies control in the Middle East, so that's another card that's tricky for them. But I expect to see Event Brush War space a card they don't like. And we'll go Event Europe scoring, Portuguese Empire crumbles, an extra one into Angola and one into Sudan, which threatens domination in Africa. And then it becomes a war game battle. Oh, this is great for us. Fantastic. Europe scoring. Have to do brush war now. Otherwise, you're also giving up. Milops. And we'll event repair Peck. There it is. Got to be Argentina. Misses. Wow. Okay, didn't get war games, tragic. But we do have purge. A lot of cards we want to space. Could we got you to intervent, you, you and intervention, I suppose. That might come in handy. But purging is probably best. We don't want to drop DEFCON, we want him to have an attempted coup on Argentina. So plug in the hand. They've got your Syrian five-year plan. We've got purge. Che, Quagmire, Reformer, U2, Suez, five red three-op cards. Although Suez, right? <laughs> Suez is very repairable. <laughs> Uh, uh, Cuban Missile Crisis and East European Unrest. That's the nine. Okay, so now we definitely give Purge. Uh, we, we definitely Purge them, sorry. And we'll give them... Suez? Yeah, we don't want them double cooing. We are going to use you in intervention, so we don't want to use, don't want to give them you two. That's two VP. Suez doesn't break France and drops the UK, but we maintain domination in Europe. Scored. So Suez is probably it, right? Yeah. Again, no war cards. We've got a lot we want to space, though. And we've got you in inter intervention as well, I guess. So we don't want Che to disrupt Haiti and Sudan. So Che's not playable. Quagmire's not playable. 
U2 incident after UN intervention. So we could UN either a former, and of course we've got two space options. So chain a quagmire to space, reformer UNI, then U2. And then we just pray we don't get stranded with lone gunmen, but we've now got the China card, they've got Yasuri, and they've played Cultural Revolution. So decent shape here. Um, we do want to snag a battleground in the Middle East at some point before the game ends, because of course shuttle diplomacy is currently depressing the scoreline for us. Sorry for the delay. I took the opportunity to step out and have a bathroom break. I see that their coup failed, as one-op coups so often will. So. Whoa. Oh, yeah, Missile Envy is a must play, isn't it? Yes. Uh, so we'll retake Panama. Will we retake Panama? No, we will take Mexico. So if they have liberation theology, we can repair Panama afterwards and not just give up Mexico. Again, South America remains in a parlous state, but I can't do a lot about it right now. So that is fine. So they'll continue to frantically realign on Argentina, I guess. We do want to take Peru, though, in case we can have a stab at Chile. Oh, great. Read it well. Read it better than I thought I would, frankly. Where's the other one going? Mm. Tukul has not been removed, right? Yeah, we're going we're gonna to cover France. Still, I think. That's fine. So that will behoove them to try and realign Argentina now. Otherwise, we get a shot at Chile. We still know they're holding your Syrian five-year plan. Five-year plan, of course, they'll use to ditch a bad scoring card. That's their prerogative. Not a lot we can do about that. So many cards, hard to speculate on the rest, so I'm not gonna. But I think we're gonna wanna try and keep Formosa alive through the game. If we can, even with South America and Middle East, if we can dominate Europe, Africa, and Asia, and now possibly Central America as well, we're in good shape. Good shape for late war, good shape for final scoring. So yeah, pressure's definitely on them. He says with a confident voice because he doesn't want to make it sound like the pressure's on him. Uh, we want to get off to space fairly quickly as well. But if they fail on realigning Argentina, we kind of have to go for it, right? Yep. Please miss. Not this time. Okay. That settles that hash and we go off to space instead. Venezuela at plus one. Risky. Oh, not bad. Okay. We'll leave it as it is. Let's hope they don't have South 
America scoring right now. Otherwise, we just give up all those points. But if he does, he does. Inshallah. Okay, good. These are all cards that could ruin us in the in the end game. Let's get presents and tap chili for now because it doesn't cost us a lot here in opportunity. Yeah. Fourteen thirty one. Oh yeah, because Shuttle Diplomacy is not discarded. Fine. Good. Uh, I need to get a coup off before the end of the turn. Southeast African states, maybe? Because if we can do something about South Africa as well. Ah, that's just greedy. I suppose maybe Paraguay's fine. Because if we can find a way of winning back Argentina, that means we can threaten Chile and continue to reinforce Argentina. We could hold the we could hold you an intervention, right? We could event the reformer, right? The issue is that we then lose a two VP ABM because they get the four operations points. But if they get it, they raise DEFCON, which gives us a coup. So choices. Oh, D style. And still being evented this late in the war. I'm guessing Saharan States, Cameroon, Panama. Yeah. So, we will now you an intervention with the reformer, move into Cote d'Ivoire to regain domination. We'll take Panama. And they now need to use a four op card to three op flip it. And we know they've got Yasuri five year plan and one other card. Definitely spacing chain now. Oh, massive success. That is huge. Transforms the board. Some huge wars. I don't know what to say. <sighs> yeah, we've been undone by war cards, haven't we? So now we'll coup Paraguay and fail. Give up another VP. Now we're almost hoping to win by war games, right? Because Asia's dominated post shuttle diplomacy. Oh, man. ABM's nice. That might allow us to re coup Thailand. And now we do get a mitt back at a time where there are lots of cards we might want to see out of the deck. Holding OPEC, North Sea Oil might be a play as well. Let's see what they headline. And we'll go from there. If they headline, for example, Asia scoring, we're going to want to ABM coup Thailand. Ditto South America scoring. We may want to salt ABM, for example. So if it's a neutral headline, salt's an option. If they ditch war games and we can space OPEC and then salt war games, also an option. So lots of options. If they all ditch, we definitely want ABM. But man, oui, Arab, Israel, and Indo-Pakistani war were not kind to us this game. It's 
So it wants maximum power on coups in the Americas. What do we say to that? Eh, I'm still going to coup Thailand. I'm greedy, I'm angry, I want it back. Five or six, please. A one. Crap. Uh, greedy salt ABM. We could North Sea Oil and sort ABM AR7 to have an ABM coup on Thailand. <laughs> we'll have to event and repair liberation theology and South African unrest, which is a little annoying. An event and repair, Willie. Oh, this is not good. Oh, it could be worse, I suppose, yeah. So if we use North Sea Oil to redominate Africa, we're then locked into spacing OPEC. But we're not going to take a turn off. Oh, it's... it didn't coo. So I guess we're what, instead cooing Zaire? Yeah. Then if they take Nigeria... We still have three battlegrounds. Hmm. I still like OPEC to space for those crack at 4VP. But we've got a lot to do. A lot. Um, Asia's hugely problematic. Brush wars in the deck, but with flower powers in play. So we could we could sort brush for Thailand. Okay. Okay, so SOCGov did Nigeria and Zimbabwe. One, two, three, four, five plays. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four. Okay, so we're, no, we're not going to dominate Africa anytime soon. So the problem with salting now, of course, is that um, they can have a crack in Africa. Let's space OPEC before we do anything else and fail. <sighs> it's becoming a damage repair exercise, right? We're, they control the Middle East and South America. We're now not dominating Asia. Not good. We definitely want to emit, so let's hope Marine Barracks bombing doesn't come in. Ah, absolute swine.
South America, Glasnost. We'll ditch nuclear test ban. But NATO does have some downside and so does NORAD. Oh boy. It might be we need war games to come and save us, which is, you know, kind of embarrassing. Man. Uh, yeah, okay, shore up your controls in exchange for TVP. Obviously, you're not concerned about war games, so let's not use salt anytime soon. We'll overprotect West Germany. Well, let's hope they. Play war games for ops, and then like AR7, I can salt, retrieve it, and gain 4 VP from mill ops. That could be big. But 5, 6, 7, we've got what? Event and repair South Africa unrest, event and repair liberation theology. <sighs> could have another crack at space with North Sea oil, potentially. Ah, there's the mill ops. Okay. Not another VP is nice. Yeah. Let's event and resolve South African unrest. Okay, and we'll overprotect Angola a little more. Keep access in Jordan as well in case Marine Barracks bombing cleans us out. That's as good as anything. Still holding five year plan. That said, nothing they want to ditch to it right now. Summit. Okay. Um, we're not going to space. So I suppose we overprotect Mexico and Panama against liberation theology, and set up better rear lines on Nicaragua. And now let's see. They've got five-year plan and one other card. If they ditch war games, we'll salt recover it. And hope they don't pull exact. And then we hope they. No, they don't have it. Okay, so that doesn't matter. We'll still hold salt. Yeah, fine. We're still holding salt, definitely. So we use liberation theology to finish the turn. So we want to dodge Middle East scoring and try and snag war games. The alternative was sort ABM, 
which is definitely a viable option. But that die is cast. But at the moment, USSR is winning in final scoring. And Voice of America is not currently in the discard pile. Mm-hmm. The other one. Largely academic. So we'll just shore up Panama a little more. Now nah, we're good with salt. We may want to have ditched it to draw better into war games, which we didn't do, but we have lots of ways of dropping DEFCON. Hunter might come in handy. Let's see what they do. Dropping DEFCON's pretty big with Africa the way it is. But I think we probably do it with Hunter. And we'll still grain sales them to hand shorten them, especially if they're potentially holding Star Wars. Playing CIA turn one was kind of sad in a way, but in another way, at least we got a nice turn 10 deal. Aldrich would be nasty, I guess. But there's a lot they're going to want to take off us. So if they do Aldrich in their headline, I guess we want a grain sales to shorten their hand rather than Hunter. Then they'll remove Hunter, of course. Oh, that's game. All right, well, we got there. So a slightly unexpected mechanism. Uh... Oh, well. I mean, I'm glad to take that one because I was sweating towards the end there. So we'll have a quick chat. Um... While I'm waiting for a bit of update there, I think I'm playing again on Wednesday. Next meeting, next game, next game, next game. Uh, when, yeah, I'm playing Zapruder again, this time in Itzel, not Rutzel. Uh, I lose track. Um, so yeah, another game coming up then. I um, hope you're enjoying it. I know that this is very much the kind of the trails of a journeyman rather than the, the cream of the crop. So I appreciate people watching and hopefully learning something from it and certainly telling me what I need to learn because I should certainly be better. Um, so yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Until next time, bye for now. Thanks again.